Last week on the Cruising Kiwis, we told the story of how our boat dragged anchor in strong winds. I felt helpless. Is it all of us standing on the beach doing not much? This week, we try to separate the boys from their devices and swim with manta rays. Screen time! Oh, any other time but screen time. You now we've come traveling to get away from screens for the boys in particular. I don't know if you have the same problem at home. Uh, but we still battle with the kids and the screen. So we're on our way to dinner out to pick up some friends and we're going to have some more adventure. We're going to do stuff. Things happen. You've got to get them outside, get them off the screens, people. Get them off the screens. Here we go. You may recall some time ago we had Haley come and join us on Chevrolet uh, and we went out to Tiritiri Martangi. <laughs> uh, with Sims, Sims and Haley came in out for an overnighter and we had a great old time together. Tip yeah. advisor be getting a good report. Nine. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Well, Haley has just arrived into Tenerife. We've just picked her up now. And we are now motoring out to uh, Musket Cove. It seems like whenever Haley turns up, the wind disappears. We had to motor all the way out to Tiri Tiri Martangi last time she was on the boat too. Haley, I'm just ad uh, admonishing you for losing the wind here. But, uh, I don't know, I can feel a breeze. There is a breeze, but we're creating the breeze by motoring into the wind, into nothing. Uh, so this is... Ben yep. and Haley. Hello, Ben. Hello, Haley. Hello. Hi. Welcome aboard. We headed out from Musket Cove yesterday, uh, heading north up the Asawas to where the manta rays hang out. Uh, the first night we stayed at Navandra. Uh, Navandra Island's where they filmed one of the Survivor shows or something or other. Whatever. So this is a pretty cool coastline here actually. It's a lot more barren than the Lao group on the eastern side of Fiji. A little, lot less rain here. Um, but a lot of resorts. There's resorts all the way. Every island's got a resort on it, man. There's heaps. Yeah, a lot of reefs here. Obviously, we don't want to be hitting this puppy over here, so we're just taking a safe course. Right now, we've got no wind. The sails are flapping. <laughs> we're motor sailing. We were motor sailing. We're just actually motoring with flappy sails at the moment, waiting for the breeze to kick in again. Are you ready? Ready to go? I'm a man. Got some of that. <laughs> it's a hard work there, Declan. You wink or something. What do you reckon you've got? Oh, a mahi mahi or maybe a whale? It's a mahi mate. It is. Get my shoes. Get my shoes. Get my shoes. I'll get it. I'll get it. A towel. A towel. Yeah, a towel. And a towel. Get a towel. <laughs> oh god, oh no, I'm dreading this. What happened last time with the Mahi Mahi? Uh, I don't want to talk about it, I'm still having nightmares. Yeah! Yeah! 
Oh, that's a Trevelli. I'll hook it I'll get the net. Sometimes I'm just really strong. You know? It's pretty amazing, actually. That's a Tiger Shark. Come back, lads. No, no, stay. Come and put They went much better than expected, right? Yeah. We didn't get anybody hooked. Yeah. We've made it to the manta ray anchorage, but we've got a couple of hours before the mantas arrive for their dinner at high tide. So the boys have put together a little plan. It's got them off their screens and thinking, which will improve their free diving. We don't advise our younger viewers try this unless they have another adult in the water with them. Anyway, let's go. What's going on? Oh, right. Um, well, we've just been into the shore and grabbed these two rocks here. And what we're planning on doing is I'm going to hold on to it and Ivan's, I'm going to go down head first and Ivan's going to grab onto my ankles and we'll just, yeah, see how far we can go. I'll hopefully get down to the bottom, I'm not sure about Ivan. How deep is it? Probably like 16 or 17. No, I reckon it's, no, oh, it's so the depth down to here says 15, so oh, I reckon it's 15. All right, so once you guys are ready, I'll pass you the rock. Thank you. Later in the week, another significant getting off screens moment occurred when the boys plus friends created another game with an element of risk designed to test their invulnerability. Okay, we have a new game. It's all timing, eh? Okay? That timing. Cool, oh, don't on. hit the hull. Don't Some hit people are better at it than others. <laughs> oh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Watch and learn. People. For instance, Robert. You make up your own mind how good easy. Rob is. The worst thing that happen is that it slides out of your hand. So you want to get a double 
a quadruple grip so that you've got more to hold on to. A heavier person might not be able to hold on to it. Alright, here we go. Impressive. <laughs> not. Finn does it again. A flying fin. Oh, There's a little bit of grace to Finn's um, well, efforts. Nice, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, that was awesome. This, I can't oh, say the same for you. Oh, Robert. we're looking for artistic impression. Well, you should have said. Here we go. <laughs> Holding it so good. So you shouldn't fold this. So you shouldn't fold it. Contrary no, to your, your previous fold instructions. Right. Holding the rope is wrong. It doesn't work. Hold it down low and run. <laughs> Hold it down low, run. Run, run like this. Don't stand on the rope. But run. Oh. <laughs> See, you can make a loop. Charlie, not like that. Yeah, Danny. This is so cool. Hey! <laughs> so we found a solution to the problem. Uh, weak guy. Weak guys need nothing to do with weight, it's just weakness. I don't mind admitting I'm not strong enough. I'm definitely not too fat. That's the critical thing. So what's this? He hit the boat. Yeah, bottom. I've hit a whale! <laughs> that hurt? So much better. Yeah, but you so have, much better. You, yeah, you put a hole in the hull though. <laughs> to the manta rays it's feeding time and there's quite a few people in the water i'd say there's a couple of dozen people here and there's a little voice inside me that says maybe this isn't such a good idea but i can hardly hear that voice because a much bigger voice is just saying to me i want to swim with the mantas The water currents carried through the channel between the islands here are rich in nutrients. Twice a day at high tide the mantas come to feed on their main food source, plankton. Using their cephalic or head fins they funnel food into their cavernous mouths. Cousins of sharks, manta rays have cartilaginous skeletons allowing them their graceful flexibility. Manta rays have no teeth or sting in their tails. These gentle giants bear no risk to humans and are often very curious of divers that are swimming around them. If you enjoyed this video, please consider sharing it and give us a thumbs up. It helps us heaps. Come on, eat it, it's so bad.